Hello everybody, I'm Gold Leader, I'm joined by Patronus, and welcome to another Harry Potter livestream. Got some exciting stuff going on tonight, actually. Yes. Which is why we're a couple minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of uh, busy work uh, behind the scenes here. Um, yeah, so we are, obviously we're continuing with uh, match number seven of eight in the first round of the Triwizard Tournament. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to reveal what we've been teasing on social media, the hashtag Dueling Club. So Dueling Club, what is it? Uh, Dueling Club is, think of it as a weekly, almost like a league in a sense, um, a Harry Potter online league where you will match yourself against an opponent and you have one week to play the match. So the way it works is you register on um, homebasegames.com slash leagues. You'll find all of the instructions for how to register, how to um, get on an online platform. And you will, the only thing that you'll need, it is free to register. You will have to be a part of the Harry Potter Revival Discord. Because that's where the match pairings will go. That's how you meet up with people. And there will be prizes. So we are not revealing what all the prizes are yet. Still working out exactly. We have some, some backup plans. Yeah, we, we have some very cool ideas. It's just a matter of manufacturing so that we can have them um, in time. So the league will start on November 1st. Mm -hmm. And until 31st. Yep, and the the way the way this works is there's not a specific day and time to play. Uh pairings go out every Sunday night by 10 p.m. and the pairings will pair you with another player so you'll you'll be like you'll have to play a specific player you reach out to that player and you guys agree to a time to play within that one calendar week uh, matches will be 60 minutes so there's 15 minutes longer than the regular and that's just because sometimes just playing on the computer is just a little bit slower than playing in person mm -hmm. and we're following all the re revival rules the format will be classic, though. It's not going to be uh, the um, Heir of Slytherin revival format. It's classic rules, classic format. Um, again, all the rules are in the Dueling Club FAQ. So if you have a question, you can either reach out to um, Gold Leader in the Harry Potter Discord, or you can check out all the information in the FAQ. I think it's pretty well covered. And with, uh, I think that's about it. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. But it's pretty exciting to be able to, we, we do um, a similar thing um, that's really successful in our Star Wars community. Mm -hmm. And I've just been dying to play now that we've been going through this Triwizard Tournament. And I just want to play now so i want to <laughs> build your own decks and try yeah and i want to build my own decks yeah. i want to play against other people and so i thought let's start a dueling club yeah so without uh, further ado let's get into the match yeah uh that information everything is live and homebasegamescom slash leagues just to reiterate so if you want to actually go over there now you're welcome to do that yep. and uh, if you have any questions off the top of your head just drop them in chat and we will be yeah. happy to answer them absolutely so we'll just kind of flip right back. We are in our bracket. We're almost done with the first round. Two more matches left. Mm -hmm. So tonight is uh, a professor battle of McGonagall versus Snape. And then the final round uh, next week is going to be a Weasley battle of Ron versus Fred and George. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's crazy how random that is. It was pretty random. It was, I would say, 93% random. And then there was a couple of things that I just, like, manually manipulated so that, like, characters that had the same, if we had multiple of the same character, they were a different size of the bracket. Yeah, it wasn't, like, Stuff like that. Hermione, Hermione. Correct. All right, wait. Why do, first of all, we have a problem. I have a... 
I don't want the McGonagall deck. Oh, you want Snape? Okay. Well, yeah. That's Snape, I guess. Come on. I always Snape. want the Slytherin deck. All right, that's fine. <laughs> so we'll get going here. Everything is sorted if you want to go through it, or I always will post the deck list in the uh, YouTube replays on YouTube.com. Yeah, and, and honestly, games. I will, as soon as this match is over, I will post the deck list um, to our Facebook page as well. Right, so I think it's just uh, better to kind of get into the games than uh, go through all the cards one by right. one. So I'm playing with McGonagall. And... Her ability is crazy good. So I wonder if, if uh, everyone thinks that McGonagall is going to be the one that wins this tournament. Well, she did win, I think, the second, I think the 2019 Gen Con. I think that's what this deck list is, actually. But that Snape deck list was from the 2018 tournament. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't think they faced each other at any point. But um, her ability is once per game, you may discard the adventure your opponent has played, and she provides a transfiguration resource. Like all professors, they all provide a resource. And then Snape, it's a little hard to read because he's foil. Let's see how he comes. Terrible. Kind of see his art a little bit there. And then ability, once per game, you may shuffle up to seven non-healing cards from your discard pile into your deck, and he, of course, provides a potion. Perfect. And welcome. Is that Vaughn? It's Vaughn and So Broken. What's up, guys? All right. Pretty excited about this Triwizard Tournament. It's been fun. And if you uh, weren't part of the stream last week, we also discussed... Um, so the next streaming content that we're going to be doing is we're going to run another tournament but this time instead of home base games picking all of the decks what we're doing is we're going to have a submission form which will be really simple just your name and and the deck list and mm -hmm. sideboard and we're going to ask the harry potter community to submit the 16 decks that we enter into the tournament. Yeah. Actually, I lied. 15 decks because I'm submitting a deck. <laughs> How do you know that we're going to pick it? <laughs> That's why I said it's 15 decks. Fair enough. <laughs> and what's going to happen is uh, we are going to choose um, basically f the, the 15 most interesting decks that are different archetypes. So if you think uh, you have the best of the McGonagall deck, submit it. But if you also think you have some really interesting deck that someone else isn't playing, submit it because we're only playing taking one. Yeah, like we'll take one McGonagall deck as yeah, an that's example. It. Unless they're dramatically different right. decks, we're right. most likely taking one McGonagall deck, and we'll right. pick whatever we. Yeah, think it's not is so much about the. Good... It's not so much about the starting wizard. Yeah, it's about the deck type. Correct. Right, so we're we're trying to cover a spectrum. We want mm -hmm. to see, you know, control decks. We want to see combo decks. We want to see aggression decks. We want to see mid range decks. We want to see different types of decks. Mm -hmm. That's and, what's been so fun about this is seeing all of the different kinds of archetypes that can be built within these decks, yeah. and then just mash them up against each other and see what happens. And and <laughs> honestly, that has been the Oedipus that has been driving me to want to play with other players. Yeah. You know, I like playing with Patronus on stream, but I also need to get them competitive juices going and play against <laughs> some other people and try some theories that, because I'm learning. This is a learning experience for me. This whole Triwizard tournament thing is a crash course into Harry Potter, but you are never going to learn everything unless you actually play against other players. So sure. we will also do this, the other difference between, um, this Triwizard Tournament and the next one we're going to do, in addition to obviously players um, submitting the decks and we're using community decks, we are going to have a prize for the person's deck who wins the tournament. Oh, all right. That sounds cool. So, it's so there's be... incentive to come up with something cool. Incentive to come up with something cool. I like it. Yeah. I think we should also maybe have like a smaller prize like for the most original deck as well. Sure. Okay, but that... 
maybe the the most original deck that finishes the highest. Mm -hmm. I think that's a yeah. That's an interesting category. All right. Encourage some deck building out there. Absolutely. I'm gonna grab a couple dice and we will. Yeah, roll and we got a couple on. new people on the channel. So broken. Um, he asked about how we plan on doing the whole deck building list thing. I think we might. What do you mean, like how how to submit? How to submit. I think we'll probably have a form submission. Yeah. It'll, um, so and it'll, we'll have it on our website, on our Facebook. On, like we'll have it all over. The it'll place. be very similar to the way you submit to um, sign up for the dueling club. Mm -hmm. It'll basically just be a Google form. Yep. And uh, you'll be able just to paste a deck list and a sideboard in there uh, with your name and your Discord contact info, I think, is what we'll do. Just yeah, so we can just so we can, just reach, so we can you. reach you if you win. Yeah, right? absolutely. <laughs> so we'll have to have some kind of contact info yeah. in there. Uh, we're obviously not keeping it or sharing it. That's why we're just going to ask for something like Discord. Mm -hmm. um, we're not asking for emails. And if you win, and... then we'll reach out to you for your shipping address. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, did you roll an 11? I rolled an 11. Wow. All right. No, Captain can't roll tonight. Boxcars, boxcars, not boxcars. That's Snake Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nope. Not one in that one. All right. That is the opposite of boxcars. So, Snape's one time thing is that he can heal seven cards, huh? Yep. Once per game, shuffle seven non healing cards into his deck. Okay. But he just gives me potions. Yep. All right, let's see what this deck does. I'm assuming you're going first. Yeah, I won, yeah. There's no reason. Not this game, there's zero reason to ever go second. Yeah, that is a fair statement. It's an interesting concept. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, wow. This is not... What is this deck? Not what I expected. So... Huh. Two lessons of a color where I'm not going to be able to play anything for a while matter i'm going to mulligan i'm the first player mm -hmm. i'm gonna mulligan i think i will <clears throat> so, i'll be excited to see how all this shakes out once we get into uh you know the second round of the tournament of yeah. this tournament and yeah, if you guys, we'll probably honestly um, kind of come up with the form submission for our next round of decks shortly, probably yeah. in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, for um, sure. Because we'll want to we'll give everybody be some lead time and be ready to go. Yep. Yeah, we were, uh, we, we uh, so just so you know, the Dueling Club, everything is live for it. You can register right now for the Dueling Club. The uh, FAQ for the Dueling Club is also live. Just, again, homebasegames.com slash leaks. And uh, the only thing that isn't live is um, working with the Revival Group. They are going to make us a hand, like a Dueling Club um, Discord channel. Sure. So, you know, for that kind of stuff. Like for scheduling. And for stuff. scheduling and, and yeah. all that stuff. So awesome. I am also going to, and I'm this is going to be my weekend project is going to make a couple short videos just on how to use um, the two different online platforms that we have chosen, which is either Untap or Lackey. Okay. And uh, I know how to lose, use Lackey very well, so I will. That'll be a very quick video for me to make. Um, Untap, I haven't used it in a hot minute, but I did use it a little bit for Dragon Ball Super. I know it's pretty popular, web browser based. Um, platform. Well, that got worse. All right. Uh, are we honoring our? If you have no lessons, you can mulligan again. Yeah, let's do it on okay. stre for stream only. Yeah. If for a real match, no. Yeah, we have zero lessons. Yeah. There's no point in just having a bad match on stream. <laughs> Before we sense. had two, but of only like one color where I wasn't going to be able, so I wasn't going to be able to play anything for four or five turns, most likely, unless I drew. I wonder if we're going to. Uh, uh, break the streak with these uh, with those well, sleeves. With these sleeves. Yeah, those are the jinxed sleeves for sure. Yeah, every single deck that has lost has been in these sleeves. At least for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty rough. But I like discovered those sleeves. It's like, hey, we need sleeves for stream decks. Let's use these. 
Uh, so does it count if I get no lessons again too? Yep. We will both do Look it. Look at that. We'll both do it. <laughs> okay. Hashtag can't shuffle. Yeah, apparently. Although I guess uh, if we both were like that, we could have just had a T-Rex this fight battle and whoever drew lessons first wins. <laughs> Ooh, exciting. So, did any of you in chat play Harry Potter this weekend? Curious. I know I was itching to play today. Unfortunately, this past weekend was so busy, didn't get to play any games. Mm -hmm. It was terrible. Yeah. Doesn't happen a lot, but... A weekend true. without games in my life is not a weekend I want to live. <laughs> Five, six, seven. All right. It was kind of weird. We, I got. All right, I can totally accept this. Yeah. All right. I have, I have lessons of multiple colors. We're fine. <laughs> well, we also get the default one from our no, professor. No, I know, but I'm still two. Co I'm technically three color. Yeah. Because it's the transfiguration for that you guarantee. For well, I only had one, one lesson the first time, so I mulliganed, and then the second time I had zero lessons. All right, uh, I'm going to keep this. All right, go ahead. Draw. Yeah, seven cards and just rip one right off the top, huh? All right. This is a really strange Snape deck. Let's see how this goes. All right, so I'm going to play a lesson. And I'm going to play a lesson. All right. So Broken said he got a box of Diagon Alley Booster. Oh, did you crack the them all? Box. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, did you actually crack them, or are you saving them for something? Cause... I can't do the whole buy booster box. I know that there's like a whole collector's market, especially for dead games, of like buying booster boxes and just sitting on them and, yeah. and making... And it's not just that. Like, they are looking for boxes that are not like dented or creased, like, right. like the mintiest looking boxes. Mm. I can't do that. There's just no way... A, a box of cards is going to sit there and I'm not going to open it unless yeah, unless this you is, have imminent plans to do some type of sealed or draft yeah, or something. Yeah, unless I'm saving it for an event that like, I get to crack. Within, but, within three months? I think three months is about as long as you'll last. Yeah, there's just no way. <laughs> Alright, so Lesson Standard Book of Spells. Go ahead. Uh, okay. That's the one where you just draw cards? Yes, it is. Alright. Um... All right, I'm going to play a lesson, and then got some options. Uh, Vaughn says he's uh, ordering some cards to make his own sprout plant deck. Oh, nice. Sounds fantastic. I think that's something, if you figure it out, that's something you should totally submit for yeah, the I was going to say, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds like a deck submission right there. All right, uh. I'm going to play a garden gnome. I've never actually played with this card. <laughs> So broken. That's a good strategy. He said he cracked half, and he's giving the other half to his brother so that he can get him to play with him. <laughs> oh, yes. Well <laughs> Sometimes all it takes is a taste of the cardboard crack, and you don't go back. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. All right, that guy. Do anything special? Yes, my favorite ability. At the end of each of your opponent's turns, if they have any cards in their her, in, in his or her hand. They choose one and discard it. Whoa. That sucks. Thank God he's just one elf. It's awesome. Um, all right. Well, with that said, I'm going to draw a card. But he doesn't deal any damage. No, but he didn't makes me discard a card, which it, means but I'm you get to targeting choose. him. Right, but I don't want to lose any of my cards. Good. Um... While you take your turn, I will be right back. All right, guys. Not sure how much I hate that garden gnome. I suppose I could deal with it for one turn. So I think we're going to just lessen it up. We're going to do well, a charms and a care of magic creatures. And then at the end of my turn, right, that's when I have to 
discard. That's right, the end of my opponent's turn. So I'm going to discard a second copy of Standard Book. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to go over and grab the tablet so I can engage in the chat. All right. So you just played uh, two, lessons? two lessons? Okay. All right, I'm going to draw. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to play a black bat. Everyone's uh, favorite enter the battlefield trigger creature. Mm -hmm. Is it two? Yeah, oh, it just okay. deals you two. All right, that was one. And then my second action, I'm going to just draw a card. All right. I'm done. Draw. Let's go with You know, every time I play and I play on this play mat, like I just get so giddy because it looks <laughs> it's like I shouldn't be surprised because we played on it quite a bit. But it's like every time I play on it, I was like, Man, this thing's gorgeous. Yeah. Good to have friends. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go with a Stream of Flames to deal three damage to the garden. Well, that's a sad gnome. I don't use more cards. Okay. And then secondly, I'm going to play a Opus. Okay. Ramping it up. And that one does damage to creatures as well. Yeah, four. Okay. I'm going to draw. And my bat is going to deal you two damage. And then I'm going to play a lesson. And I'm going to play a quintipede. Or quintiped. Mm -hmm. Sorry, quintiped. Our box camera again. looks like it got a little messed up. Fine, you're just reaching weird because. Um. All right. All right. Awesome. And he has um, no abilities. He just does two damage each turn. Yep. And we have a a new new Earth face at least. Tim Gilmore. I don't think I've seen you in our chat. Welcome. This is very new to the game. We're still trying to figure out how to create a deck from our cards. That's fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, so honestly, Tim, I will tell you the, the thing that's helped me the most is doing this Triwizard Tournament. So every every um, match that we have played is available on our YouTube channel. Um, it's just youtube.com slash games. And I, if you have the time, I would encourage you to go and watch all the matches. Just watching the decks played is super helpful to kind of learn um what people are playing how to build the decks and i believe we have all the deck lists in the videos as well mm -hmm. we do. <clears throat> oh some of our friends also do the uh the hogwarts battle game that's honestly oh yeah one of my faves i i love that game i I'm love like, hogwarts I, battle this has this has been such a really really popular thing for us to do on our harry potter mondays so this is kind of what our focus has been but i'm like itching to go back and get back to our uh potions and charms expansion yeah we yeah we've done <laughs> we've done two two uh games in the uh, potions and charms expansion which just came out for hogwarts battle um but we've been consumed by this so we haven't done it but we definitely need to get back um, the 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 um, the OP Harry Potter games they're so different than this but they're mm -hmm. still so much fun. There's also House Cup which we did which I I love that game. Um, it, it's just cool to have different styles of Harry Potter game. Okay. You have this which is your this is your great like CCG. It's the best version of a Harry Potter card game. Then you have the deck building game which is the battle game, and yeah. then the uh, worker placement game which is House Cup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all, all great options. Agreed. 
So I'm going to... Cutting Fox. Mm -hmm. He does three damage, one health. Yep. Okay. I'm going to... So that was my first thing. I'm going to also... You know, with one thing I would like to see, chat, I would like to see a couple more creatures like Black Bat that have an enter the battlefield type trigger. Or they don't call it enter the battlefield in this game. Yeah, when you play this card yeah. ability. Potato, potato, yeah. Um, I try not to use magic terms, but it's just un <laughs> impossible sometimes. Yeah, that's true. 25 years ingrained in me. Very, very true. Man, that five health on that Quintipet is really annoying. Yeah, just keep taking two. Mm-hmm. All right, well, I think we have this hit your black bat. Okay. It's yeah, dead. I can only take four for some. Yep. So let's just... Okay. And is that an action to do that? I believe yes, it, is. it is. So I'm done. Okay. My turn? Yeah. I'm going to draw. I'm going to deal you two with my Quintiped. Hmm, what is this? We are going to play... Oh, we can't play this card, or this card, or this card. Okay. Yeah, you're stuck on... Or, are they potions cards? Hmm. Because well, you have that. Yeah, I do have that. We're going to play four Privet Drive, an adventure card that basically says that you can't play spell cards. Okay. And the way to solve it is you have to discard six cards from your hand. Okay. Or you can McGonagall it. Which I probably will, but we'll, we'll hang out for a And then, so that was two actions. I'm yep. done. Yep. All right. Draw. And I take three from the fox. You do. Okay. So I lost a sandstone gargoyle, a marble gargoyle, and potions project. Your opponent takes damage until he discards a total of two lesson cards from their deck. Okay. So. So I'll put these on stream while she's taking her turn. I think we're just going to go ahead Donegal's ability to get rid of number four per drive. Goodbye. We will use this to draw three. We will... Potions Project was the other card I lost. Play. Okay. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to draw. Take two. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna play uh four pivot drive again, I guess. And then yeah. I'm done. Alright. So how do I have to get rid of that? Discard six cards? Yep. It is your opponent can't play spells. To solve, your opponent chooses six cards in his or her hand and discards them. I guess you have to do all six at one time. I would think so. So here's a question, and I think I can, would assume that this is fine, but can I, picking on Neville, your adventure? The card in play that I can choose a card? I would think so. It is can a card. Can you do that with matches? Sure. I think you can do it in any card. What does it say? It says, choose one of your opponent's cards in play other than their starting character and discard it. Yeah, opponent, absolutely. They prevent this by, but it's a spell. Oh, no, but you can't so play a spell. I can't play spells. That's, that's your answer. That's the all right, so... 
You can play creatures or discard cards. Or items. Guess let's try an adventure of my own. <laughs> Pep talk? Yeah. So I can only use actions to draw cards. Well, the first one has to be to draw a card. And you yeah. just have to show me a card with a printed power of eight or more. That's it, huh? Okay. There's probably at least one Venomous Tentacular. I, I don't think there is. I don't think this is a VTJ yeah. deck. All right. My turn? Yes. Uh, do, I don't think you hit me. You forgot. What is it? Three, Three. damage on the fox? Okay. My turn. I'm going to draw. And then my first action has to be to draw. Yep. And then my second action is to play. Oh, and then uh, I forgot. Deal oh, you yeah. two. And then my second action is to play another quintiped. Ugh. Horny. Draw card. Yep. You take three. Taking Running three. Facts. One, two, three. And... Is it an action to solve this, or is it just do? Oh, just no, it's I just okay. So I will discard six cards. Pep talk, picking on Neville, picking on Neville, lost notes, steel claw, and eleven. Discard six cards to solve this. Okay, and when then I solve it. I draw a card. Okay, you get to draw one card. Well, yeah. all right, and then. So I haven't taken any actions yet. So first action will be to play blue wig. So I deal you, the opponent, for damage, and I draw a card. Okay. And my second action is going to be to play. All right. That's it. That. All right, I'm going to draw. And then I'm going oh, to yeah, you do uh, four. deal you four. And so. then with pep talk, I'm going to draw. And then I am going to play a lesson. And I'm done. All right. Draw. You take five. Okay. 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 I sleep your lessons the wrong way. <laughs> Not just the lessons. The OCD is, it's real with me, just get over it, you know. All right, first action is to play Blue Wig, so four damage to you, opponent. Four cards and a draw. And then... I will draw again. Okay. Go ahead. My turn, I'm going to draw. Deal me four. Deal you four. I'm going to draw a card. Yep. For pep talk. And then I'm going to play Doxy. Okay. And when you play this card, you may choose another creature and play, do two damage to so it. I'm going to kill your fox. <coughs> and you're up. Okay. Draw. Yeah, this game is good. <laughs> so I take two from the black bat. What? Play Dobby's disappearance on one of you guys. Okay. That gives me an extra action, so I still have two. I'm going to draw a card. Oh, that was nice. Okay. So one and two. 
Go ahead. Okay. Draw for turn. Um, deal two to um, you. Four. Oh, four. Sorry. Okay. And then I'm going <clears throat> to play... I want to play Stream of Flames. Okay. Do three damage to an opponent. You may choose a creature in play and do three damage to it. Okay. No, it says you may also. Do three damage to your opponent. You may also choose a creature in play and do three damage to it. Stream of Flames. It does both? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I always thought that am was I, like I, either am or. Am I reading that wrong? Okay. Okay. Oh, and then um, I or did I draw for my action? I don't think I, I don't did. Think I think I had. I have to draw for pep talk. Yeah. So you're killing one of my black bats and dealing. Yes. Not really. I thought it was one. Or another. And I've only got a handful of cards <clears throat> left, so it might be uh, Snape time. Mm -hmm. And once per game. So we're gonna shuffle in, stream of flames. Black bat. Uh, Bamundia moons. Anything with uh, Bamundia moons? Power of eight or more? No, nothing there. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have one more card. Seven. Any. All right, let's shuffle these bad boys in, and it's your turn. Okay. Draw. <clears throat> hmm. So you're going to take two damage. Yep. All right, taking two. One, oh, Bumundia Moose, and a Black Bat, okay. Then I'm going to play a Guide to Household Pests, and then just stack it right all your Okay. And those were two actions. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna draw. Kill me two. Kill me two. And then, I have to draw for my turn. Okay. And. Last turn. Oh, it's your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took two. I'm sorry. We're good. I'm going to deal um, two damage to your black bat and draw. And you're up. Yeah. Drop. Okay. Let. Play my own Doxy. Oh. So... Okay. So put two damage on my Quintiped. And I will play a uh, stand. Okay. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to draw. Um, two damage. And then I have to draw for pep talk. And then we're going to play a uh, stream of flames and deal three to you and three to Doxy. That'll do it. You're up. Um, I mean, this game doesn't get much closer. I mean, 
Pep talk it is the only reason I've stayed in this game as long as I did. Yeah. Because I've so hot with my draws. Um, card left. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I guess I'll play Bewitching Snowballs and kill this guy oh, and then okay. draw a card and then... <laughs> Deny your opponent the satisfaction. All right. All right. Agonical's down a game, guys. This deck is kind of weird. That's the deck that won. That was the, the champion. Um, I just, like, it's very creature heavy, and I had very few creatures. Well, that just sounds like <laughs> variance. So, yeah. Um, yeah. This deck is pretty much just creatures and then charms to deal the yeah. direct damage, but it's just efficiency. Oh, and it's also got, you know, the best card and the best removal because it has that, that Dobby's disappearance mm -hmm. and then um picking on Neville. Luckily the uh, the the pivot drive was made you not be able to play those early, you had to like ditch your hand. Mm -hmm. So that actually seemed like that helped a little bit. It's just one game. Doesn't mean squadoosh. All right, let's get rid of that. It's interesting that that deck is so creature heavy. It's not at all what I thought this deck would be. Yeah, me either. This deck is just a a charms creatures good stuff deck with Snape to splash for for potions. potions. It's not at all what I would have. So it's very similar to this actually. It's just it splashes. Yeah, it uses potions instead of splashes. That's all it does. Yeah. Yep. It's the only difference between the two decks. There's just not not really a lot of originality in these two. Yeah. But that's all right. Oh. Sometimes you just got to have the good stuff deck in the field. Yeah. All right. So I'm going first. No lessons. <laughs> On that bag. Okay. All right, I will keep. Hmm. Yeah, Vaughn, this this deck definitely had steel claws. I had one. Um, but she never but really had, had more than one I creature in play. I only had one play. creature, so, and like, I just had to get rid of that privet drive, so I ended up discarding the one that I had in my hand because dealing an extra three damage from a cunning fox wasn't going to be cool. No, it's, uh, Vaughn, it's definitely a, the, the typical, this is the McGonagall deck that took first place, I think, at the last Gen Con. Mm -hmm. So it, it's the same thing. All the creatures, the charms, the steel claws... It, we we literally didn't change a card on the deck. We just took the first place deck and threw it in here, figuring it would just be a juggernaut. But, you know, it's one game. It's variance. Mm -hmm. I kind of got the creatures out early. and Yeah, the got five behind. butts were really the hard for me to The were super relevant, with. yeah. Because all of my spells were three. three or four. So you needed to I two needed for to one. Two, like, and that's just so horrible in this game. Like In any game. Yeah. This game in particular just feels really awful because it's just it means you're trying. Usually you have a choice of like hit your opponent, yeah. which is how you win. But the, game the thing or... is, if you just get lucky and you draw the uh, the picky on Neville early, you just kill it. Yeah. Or you could bounce it back to my hand. Which I did with one of them. Yeah. 
hard to deal with. All right, no lessons again. <laughs> I gotta shuffle my own fate. Shuffled into no lessons twice, so I officially am now responsible for shuffling my. And you've got the better sleeves. These shuffle like butter, man. You know, Vaughn, I don't know what the quote unquote go to counter to this McConnell deck was. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's one of the reasons why, you know, we started doing this. Um, I think we'll find out when we, if this deck makes it through the other rounds and uh, we get to the sum of the decks that have won. Uh, to me, uh, you know, anything with, um, I think things that could give this deck a problem, maybe that VTJ deck where it's just like clocks you fast, like... That venomous tadacular juice deck just oh that's what that was that combo deck that just yeah. like all it's got to do is get to like and it can get there fast get the to Dumbledore, like turn five the Dumbledore deck was the same way too like it just it that's what didn't... the Dumbledore deck door is it's the, oh, that we're playing it is the oh, venomous okay, tadacular juice deck mm -hmm. um, I also heard that the um you know the uh, the I think was it Ron. I think it was the Ron deck, whatever the all character deck is. Oh, it, there was, we played it, but I think there, I mean, we haven't played Ron Weasley. Yeah. We played, I think, Colin Creek. Yeah, all there's characters. an all character deck, I think, that uses Ron that allows you to play characters for one, and then you can play the same characters and discard old ones. Mm -hmm. I heard that deck's really good as a counter in McGonagall, but I haven't, <sighs> we haven't played it yet. All right, I just played a lesson and drew a card. Okay, I'm going to draw. I am just going to play a Care Magical Creatures lesson and a Charms lesson, and I'm done. Okay. Lesson, lesson. Okay, draw. I'm going to play another lesson, and I'm going to play a Sandstone Gargoyle. Mm-hmm. And Sandstone Gargoyle says it does damage to your opponent if he or she does not have any creatures in play. It does two more. So this is a good card. All right. And that's it. Two left, two actions. All right. Draw. See if it lives. Probably not. Um, yeah, Vaughn, you would think that, um, most of the better decks at Gen Con would have been, um, built around dealing with McGonagall, but you got to remember that I think before those last two Gen Cons, there was probably a very large gap in organized play before, uh, Revival started, um, you know, running events. And I just think that if, uh, I feel like the, the events were small. So the field was not particularly like large and diverse, and I just think that you know the McGonagall decks were just um, they were like the default go-to deck um, that you know there wasn't a lot of answers for in that tournament for whatever reason. But we'll see, we'll see how good this deck is. You're just uh, blasting it and blasting me. Yep. Okay. Now that I know that's what that does. All right. Seems like a good card. Dream of Flames. So I'm losing a uh, Potions Project, a Black Bat, and a Bewitch Snowball. Go ahead. All right. I'm going to draw. And... I'm going to play a Lesson. And then... I'm going to draw a card. And you're up. Draw.
Let's do... Yeah, I think you're right, Diaz. I think that, like, just playing creatures, backing it up with either charms or transfiguration was kind of the thing back then. My own sandstorm gargoyle. And we're going to play... Okay. Draw. And we are going to play We're gonna play Rose Growth to deal two damage to a creature and draw cards. So let's do it to the fox. Okay. Draw. And then we're gonna play another Rose Growth on the Sandstone oh. Gargo. Jeez. And then draw. And that's it. Okay. Draw. Yeah, I feel, I think what'll be exciting is, I think with us putting the information out there on the stream, you have the Dark Mark site doing articles around classic decks and classic meta, and then we start playing um, organized play, tournaments, that kind of thing, the league, like the dueling club. I think people are going to start to learn a lot about the game, and I think what ends up being like the best decks um, might change. All right, so I'm going to deal the three damage to you. Okay. This one I use. Yep. And then I draw. Okay. So I drew a card, and then I played that. All right, my turn? Yep. All right. I am going to play Garden Gnome. Mm -hmm. So that's the one that uh, forces her to discard. Yep. And then I'm going to play a Marble Gargoyle, which is the a little bit bigger than the sandstone. Mm -hmm. But same thing. No creatures, do more damage. Yep. And I'm done. Okay. Draw. Let's uh, stream a flame here. Then... Let's go with snowballs. Card. Go ahead. Draw. Play a marble gargoyle. And I'm going to play potions project. That's it. Let's put it up there. Your opponent, um, I think you discard, you start taking damage until you discard two lessons. My deck should be stacked with lessons, so. One, two. Okay. Lessons starved, so. And that goes away. I'm done. All right. Drop. Let's stream of flames. Three, two, and a lesson. All right, my turn. Yep. Draw. We're gonna play um, four privet drive. Mm hmm. You're up. I'll put this back up on stream. She can't play any spell cards unless she discards six. Or she can use Paganical and get rid of it. But, uh, play a lesson and play into household decks. Okay. And are you done? Okay. I'm going to play Potions Project again on you. Okay. So you start, uh, you just, you take damage until you discard two lessons. One, two. Okay. And then second action will be I'm going to hit you with a Bewitch Snowball. Steal three to you and I draw a card. That's it. Okay. Oh.
I'll use McGonagall to get rid of Privet Drive. Goodbye. I will blue wig you for four damage. All right. Okay. And I will. to Okay. Done? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna draw. Mm hmm And... I'm gonna play a lesson. And then I'm gonna play Bamundia Moose, which will destroy this and you take two damage. And I'm done. Alright, let's go with Fox. Okay. Go ahead. Raw. Two, three, six. I'm gonna play Doxy. And deal two damage to the cunning fox. Then I'll play Bamundia Moose to kill your gargoyle. Choose one of creatures or items, and you take damage equal to the power cost. So you take Jeez. five. You're up. Um. Now, the other thing to keep in mind when you guys are watching, there are no sideboards in this tournament uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, not all the decks list that we got from the 2018 and 2019 tournament had sideboards. And the second reason was we are very inexperienced players. We're going to make mistakes. We don't know how to sideboard. And so we just felt like to waste your time on stream mm -hmm. um, thinking about the sideboard without us actually really being able to play the decks regularly, didn't make sense. So um, that's why with the next tournament we're doing where the players submit the deck list to us, we want them to submit sideboards. And, mm -hmm. we'll, and we'll feel like pretty comfortable after playing all these matches on stream that we would know how to do that. Yeah. At least have a good Better enough idea, idea that we're not wasting our time on stream being like, oh, what do we sideboard? What do we put in? Yeah. So I'm going to play Lost Notes, which hopefully this will get me back in the um Choose one of your opponent's items or lessons and play and discard it. I'm going to get your charms. Oh, okay. Hopefully that will keep the game because I feel very behind. Okay. Um, so that was one. And then I'm going to play Trevor, mm -hmm. who can let me go and get a lesson from my discard pile and put it in my hand. And he can just absorb an amount of damage on my behalf. Okay. Are you done? Yes. All right, I'm going to draw. I'm going to deal you two. two with Doxy. Only has one health. You have so many ways of doing it. No. Okay. And then um, next action, I'm going to play a Marble Gargoyle. And then final action will be to... Hmm. I think we're going to... Gonna shuffle. We're probably gonna shuffle. All right. We're gonna shuffle these cards in my deck, okay. and we'll put that on here. Yep. And I'm done. All right. So we're going to play Dobby's Disappearance on your Gargoyle. Okay. So I get extra action. I'm going to play Picking on Neville on your Doxy. Okay. And one more action, which will be to play.
All right. My All turn? Right. Yep. I'm going to draw. And we are going to play a Garden Gnome and a Marble Gargoyle. All right. And I'm done. <clears throat> but... Picking on Neville guy. Okay. And... Play. Okay. We'll discard a lesson. All right. I'm gonna draw. Uh, I'm gonna draw again. Then I'm going to pass. The turn. That's it. Two actions. I you draw. didn't do two. I draw. I drew twice. But you draw at the start of your turn. Oh, you're right. Done. Okay. Draw. All right. Um. Sandstone gargoyle. And. Okay. Go ahead. I am. I'm going to play Bamundium Ooze and destroy this. Deal you two. And then I'm going to play a Black Bat. Deal you two. And I'm done. Right. Um, you just take one from this guy. I forgot to show my card. Taking one. Then I will taking on Neville your bat. Play my and then at the end of the turn I'm a discard Okay. Go ahead. I'm going to play a, well, I'm going to draw. I'll play a sandstone gargoyle. I'm done. Draw. <clears throat> and I take three. Yep. Uh, play a Okay. Go ahead. All right. So starting my turn, I'm going to draw. I'll deal you one. And then I have to draw for pep talk. Yep. And then second action will be play a charm. And I'm done. Draw. You take three. And I'm going to play some spell books and just card a charms lesson. Okay. Go ahead. Draw. Deal you one. Draw for pep talk. And then stream of flames you. You got it. Wow. Two cards left in my deck. And I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I mean, that mattered. Mm hmm. Well, I was not expecting McGonagall to be that clunky. 
it just didn't work out well. You kept drawing like things that you didn't need. I, yeah. That's why it Tons. kept happening. You yeah. kept drawing uh, books that you didn't books, need. And I kept drawing. Um, so it seems. I kept having like the picking eye nevels in my hand when there was nothing really for me to bounce for a really long time. So they were just dead cards in my hand for many, many turns. Because what I'm, I'm not going to use it on one of your lessons. It's just. Like I was literally right. sitting on every copy of picking eye nevel on um, my yeah, and well, that's the other thing. If hand. if you used them on my lessons, that probably would have that probably would have won you the match. It's like land destruction. But I we, mean, I already did it once just to try to keep me in the game. Yeah, by destroying your charms. Because I, I was I was like actually kind of eleven less than starved. Um, I mean, you didn't know that, but I was kind of less than starved. I only had the five lessons. I didn't have any extras in my hand. But your whole deck seems cheap. Yeah, well, but I'm saying if you would have knocked me down to four, I couldn't. I couldn't have played all those five yeah. cost cards, the oozes, the. Yeah. I would have had to play more lessons. Yeah, I was just figured I needed to save them for when you eventually played creatures. No, yeah, but, I mean. Because that I'd had the answers to the creatures. I don't but... necessarily think that you like played made a mistake for or sure. anything. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it was more of. We typically don't go that route in games Correct. to win. Yeah. You know, it's like I already felt dirty getting rid of your charms lesson, but I was felt so far behind. I was like, "That's the only way yeah. I might be able to catch up." Oh, well, that that saved you. I my for the longest time, my grip was four charms. Yeah, four charms cards, yeah. and they were all cards that could deal you damage. Mm. And I literally until I got that last one, and I, that's why I shuffled. If you mm -hmm. saw, I shuffled three charms lessons I back did. into my deck. Yeah. So well, uh, McGonagall right. is she got wrecked. She got crushed. Like it wasn't even close. It was close actually. Both games were close. You just lost two close ones. I mean, I had mm. eight cards in my deck. Yeah, but I and felt I healed like, seven tw in each match. Yeah, I just I felt like I had to like play dirty to even have a chance. <laughs> that's not really dirty. That's just playing. Like yeah. Michael Jordan says, win at all costs. I don't like to do that though. <laughs> Especially on stream, I just feel like it's very one-sided. What does Vin Diesel say? Come on. Winning's winning. Doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Oh. All right. Well, McGonagall's out. Yeah, McGonagall <laughs> cannot win. So she is now out of the uh, out of the tournament. Yeah, I would say I've I've uh, eliminated a fair number of the good guy here, good guy wizards and witches from this game, mm -hmm. from this tournament. I think all the Hermiones are gone. Yeah, Harry's gone, but you eliminated Harry. Yeah. Um. No, you did. Where's I think you did. Oh, was it Harry versus Draco? Yep. Goodbye, Harry Potter. Yep. Yeah. Put so up we'll the bracket. Back. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Man, did anyone? I'm curious if anyone in chat actually think that McGonagall would lose the. That's the 2019 championship deck. Yeah, no. It I'm would sure. lose the tournament in the first round. Yeah. I'm shocked. Yeah. And it, yeah. I I'm mean, sure most people thought that that was probably going to win the tournament. I thought so too. But, and I don't know if it was just variants, but it felt incredibly clunky. It felt like you had a lot of dead cards. A lot of dead cards. Yeah. Uh, all those books. Yeah. But I think that's maybe where the sideboard probably might have would have, if this was a, a regular trip, mm -hmm. you could have sideboarded up. Because what it definitely seems like when you're playing in these uh, aggro, because these are both crazy aggro decks. Mm -hmm. They're aggro with removal. Yeah. It seems like in this match, you don't want hardly any cards to draw. Like I was holding on to all the blue cards in my hand were the Witch Snowballs and Rose Girls because. I didn't want to draw more cards. Yeah. Every card I drew was damage to myself. Right. So but I was. Like, I needed to draw because I didn't have answers in my hand. Right. Right. But <laughs> what I'm saying for yeah. me, I was leaning on the Bamundium oozes. I was leaning on the Doxy. Uh, I was leaning on the other cards to destroy your permanence mm -hmm. before I had to play the cards that I needed to draw. Yeah. Obviously, if I need to draw, I'm playing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but. You know, all those times you're playing cards and drawing cards, you're actually damaging yourself too in this mm -hmm. game, which is an interesting thing. Like, if this were magic, right? A card that deals damage to something and draws you a card, there's nothing better. Yes. Like, it's 
you know, yeah. just crazy good card. Which, I mean, technically, but you the, can hurt yourself in Magic with that, too. It's just a lot harder to do because... It's... Well, you, you, when you... You when, lose... You also have a life total in addition to... Right. You're, when you're death. taking damage, your deck's not getting milled. Right. If I need to mill you in Magic, I, I have to do it the hard way. I Correct. have to mill you of 60 cards. Yes. In this game, every point of damage mills you. Mm -hmm. So, um, when you're drawing, you're also... And so, those books, like... I mean, yeah, it's great to be able to draw three cards with one of those books. Mm -hmm. But then it's like, I also just lightning bolted myself for three. Yeah. yeah I just so it's, damage. Yeah. It, it's kind yeah. of a, uh, mm -hmm. it's a, it, it's an interesting give or take in this particular game. A hundred percent. It's a very interesting mechanic that they came up with. I like having, it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's so it's funny because cool. I've always hated Mill. Yeah. But for some reason, I don't hate this game. Well, I think it's just like, because it's like, a resource like anything else. I just like when you're like yeah. milling me, and I'm mil I'm not sitting there like getting angry. But if I'm playing like mill in <laughs> another game, yeah, I'm getting annoyed that I can't play my cards. Yeah, I'm like, well, this is so. I and I don't know why this game. I don't know why it doesn't bother me. It just doesn't. Maybe like, because that's just the base mechanic of the game. Yeah, it's not a strategy of. The yeah, well, there's but. also a lot of healing in the game, too. Mm -hmm. Like, you can play healing cards. You can put cards back in your deck. Yeah. There's a fair amount of cards to bring stuff out of the out of the discard mm -hmm. pile. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, but... I'm surprised that she had such a hard time with another creature deck, because... Yeah, next week, Diaz is the 2019 winning Fred and George list. That is that is the, uh, the, the big... That's probably the new. That's probably know. the big favorite. I think it's right. It says George Weasley. It, yeah, it is Fred and George. Is, I don't know what the deck is. It is that deck because I got it from the from okay. the HP Revival guys. I wanted to make sure we included it. Yeah, so Weasley Brothers next week, and then we'll be done with our first yeah, round. Yeah, Diaz. I actually think this Snape deck was second or third place in 2019. The deck that I'm playing, so or the deck that I played. Yep, I didn't know I anything know. about it though, because I mean we haven't looked at the deck list in a while. Yeah. So, but hey, yeah. um, the World Championship sleeves. They're not that I'm not playing them. They won. They're they're <laughs> they're staying. They're staying for for a tournament. Yeah. Now that you finally played them, I broke they the won. curse. Yeah, exactly. Broke the they world. Only, they only lost for me. Apparently, I should have changed those sleeves out a while ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are cursed. Yeah. Well, they are cursed for me. But All okay. right. Well. Um, uh, as always, um, thank you for joining us. And remember, if you uh, are just joining us, to uh, feel free to give us a like and subscribe on Twitch and YouTube. Hit the notification bell so you know when we are streaming again. Um, it really, really helps us. And uh, it also makes us feel good for all the work that we put into it. So <laughs> thank you. and uh, Make we'll sure you register for the Dueling Club. Yes, <laughs> register for the Dueling Club. And we'll see you next week Monday. Hey, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.